<sighs> that was a nice dinner. Let's have a look what we got on YouTube. Oh, Nick Nimbus released a video. Let's check it out. software you don't need a big powerful computer you don't even need graphic design skills That's seriously cool. anybody can do this so we're gonna head over to the computer so I can show you how and we're starting right now is you want to go to placeit.net oh no nice. when you're on placeit.net their I system like place is going to really care of everything for you so once you're on placeit.net you want to hover over designs and then you're going to go down to YouTube templates and look if you're on a mobile phone you can still do all of this but say what templates, what did he say and look, if you're on a mobile phone, you can still do all of this. On a mobile phone? Place it? I've got to check that out. G'day, Doug back with another video. And today, as you saw in the opening of this video, show you how to use Place It to make a YouTube asset on a mobile device. Nick Dim has just done a video talking about how to do a YouTube channel art using Place It on a computer. Well, let's do a YouTube thumbnail on a mobile phone. Let's kick right into it. First thing you want to do is fire up your phone and go to your web browser of choice. I'm just going to use Safari. And you, what you want to do is go to placeit.net. And then once you're on placeit.net, you can see that placeit.net is already optimized layout-wise for a phone. So let's crack on. Let's do a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to click on the menu here. And we're going to look at designs and we're looking for some YouTube templates. So let's go down to Y for YouTube. Under YouTube templates, we've got banners, end cards, intros, outros, and thumbnails. So I'm going to pick thumbnails. And right here, you can see as we scroll that we've got some pre designed thumbnails. So we can find something that might tickle our fancy, use that as a basis, a template, a basis for the thumbnail we want to create. So I'm going to scroll through here right now and I'm seeing some nice fresh designs here. These are looking pretty good. How gamers make money. That's an interesting one. The new unboxing, bit of a tech one there. There's a lot of gaming type ones. Some beauty sees so There's all sorts of ones that you can use as a basis to start making a thumbnail and place it. Let's see if we can find something that we might want to turn into a thumbnail. There's one I liked up here. Where is it? This is sort of how gamers make money one. Let's just pick that one. And you can see it's even cycling through some different color options. So, you know, you can totally uh, personalize and customize these. And so I clicked on edit this template. We're gonna get loaded into the editor. Use gestures to interact with the template. So that means we can pinch and zoom, simple. And we've got some options at the bottom here, text, colors, graphics, and so we can jump between those. First thing we probably want to look at is the text. You can see it's using the font Arvo, using black. Obviously the first one there is going to alter the top part of the text. Make money is that bigger, larger part. And then we've got some extra text at the bottom. Now that's quite wordy for a thumbnail for my liking. We're probably not going to use the bottom one. So what I'm going to do, seeing I don't want to use it, I'm just going to erase all that and say done. And that will just remove it completely. So that's, that's gone already. Now, what am I doing? Let's do uh, how to make thumbnails with Place It. Let's use that thumbnail. Here we go. And click Done, YouTube thumbnails. All right, YouTube thumbnails with Place It. So now, so now I've jumped to the Graphics tab. You can see there's an option to add graphics. There's a graphic section, a photo section. Really the only thing I want to change is the photo from the gaming photo to something a little bit more sort of mobile phony computery because we're doing the thumbnail design. Edit, photo. Yeah, we could work with that. So let's just have a look at that. And we can, we can manipulate that picture a little bit. Resize, and then we can maybe zoom in and give it a little bit more focus and prominence. Dude holding the phone. That's not too bad. I probably want to move it down and make the phone more centered. 
That's a bit better. So we've changed that. Now there's other graphics here. Let's have a look at this. So this is where the blue is. This is the style of the uh, design, which is the design we want. So we just want to use this to change the color. Okay, a little bit darker blue. How about that one? And then we might even jump back to text and change the color of that. Maybe the bottom one, that's better. I feel like a white, white on a, like a, a medium to darker blue rather than the black. Just pops out a little bit more. So this is a basic concept for a, a YouTube thumbnail that we can use. So we've updated the colors, we've updated the image, we've changed the text to our liking. So we've taken the basic premise of the template and customized it for our use. So it's a thumbnail saying so we do doing thumbnails, we've placed it. Once we're happy with it, at whatever stage you're happy with it, you can click the download button at the top and it will prepare to download it to your phone. You can see it's processing design and it will send you an email when it's ready to your account. By the time you're at this point, you're probably signed in with a place of account, whether you've got some sort of plan or whether you're buying a la carte uh, uh, thumbnails, channel banners, Instagram posts, whatever it is that you might want to use to place it for. I reckon their, their mock-ups are pretty good too. Some of their logo designs. Place it is just place for quick and easy and simple graphic design without knowing Photoshop, without knowing how to use GIMP, without knowing how to do all the complex things that some of the software has. This is a place to go and get your ready-made templates and customize them to your liking. If you want to check out Placeit, make sure you use the link in the description below. That will take you directly to Placeit so you can start doing your thumbnails using Placeit. Okay, you can see that's really just tap to download. So I'm going to tap that right now. There it is there. In this case, because I'm on a phone, it's basically showing me the thumbnail so I can tap and save image if I'm on a phone, if you want it on your phone. Of course, because you've got the email, you can go to your email, download it to a computer, however it is that you do your stuff for YouTube. If you're a totally 100% mobile, mobile creator, just download it to your phone and upload it to YouTube when you upload your video. So I'm just gonna click save image. That has been added to my Let's just have a look at that right now. And the most recent one is the thumbnail. Totally made in place it in just a couple of minutes. So whether you're on a computer or on a mobile device, place it is a great resource for putting your YouTube assets together. So make sure you check it out, like I said before, in the description below. Now if you want to ask me more about place it or you've got questions about YouTube thumbnails, then make sure you drop them in the comments below. I did some videos really early on in my channel. Not necessarily gonna link to those, but I might have something for you in this one right here that can help you out with some YouTube design assets. And make sure to join me next time. This is Doug, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.